EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Superdome in downtown New Orleans. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one, as it'll be the Green Bay Packers taking on the New Orleans Saints. Glad you're with us. It's Blake Groupie to get this one started, and off we go here in New Orleans. Keyshawn Nixon now from his end zone. And he returns this to the 22. They'll bring a tight end in motion left. They'll begin the drive with a run by Dillon. And running with power here. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Got to like that start. 14 yards to get him going. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Back to the ground, this time with Jones. And good running there as he'll take this all the way up to midfield. Give him 15 there, and the Packers have a first. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, with that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense because someone's going to run for some big yardage. And from the 42 now, here's second and two. On play action. Love to throw. Steps away to his left. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. When in doubt, do it yourself as he keeps it for three and a first down. Love going to give this one to Jones. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. It's a gain of 12, and the Packers have the first. Two carries for him now on the opening drive, both for good yardage. And based on film study, they thought that there was a chance to spring him more than once for some pretty good yardage in this game. A short throw to Musgrave. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. From the shotgun, a give to Jones. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Four yards the pickup, first down. You were telling me this yesterday. This is exactly what they want to do on the opening drive, establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation? We were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly. It's a big man's game. And it's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage, knock people back, and establish the run early. Trying to defend the out route there, got the P.I. call. And you know what's difficult about that one is sometimes you want to make the undercut move and go for the football, and other times you just want to hang on the upfield shoulder and make the tackle. I think he got caught in between and created a foul. Fighting for the end zone. He lost the football. It's out. And this is picked up by the Saints. And we can push ball security all we want here, but how about that effort on defense? Excellent job inside the red zone. Just took away at least three points by forcing that fumble. Winston and the Saints now with a first and 10 at the 20. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. A first carry now. This is Alvin Kamara. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. That is caught, and way up past the 35 before he's taken down. A big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now Winston. They set up the screen to Miller. 
And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Boy, that one was well-read defensively. And this is all about diagnosis as a safety and being decisive because he saw it setting up in front of him, able to knife through there and make the play. On second down, Camara. And he is going to wind up losing yardage here as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. Ready for the second quarter from New Orleans. It's the Saints in possession as they've got it with a third down coming up. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On third down, Winston. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh shot of downs. Certainly not a positive sign if you're the D coordinator and you see your guys give up that space so early in the game. Third down, that's when the clamps are supposed to come out, but his ability to create things with his legs makes things difficult. And a strong run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 35. They'll try to throw now, Winston. Pitch and catch to Moreau, the tight end. It'll go as a gain of four, and that will bring up second down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Inside handoff now, Miller. And he'll get about three as he's brought down to the 28. So two of two on third down conversions on this drive, and now they face a third and three here. Here's Winston. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Saints first down. They needed three. He doubled that. He got six. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. Well, this has been a good march down the field, but now they're stuck looking at a second and 14. They run it again with Kamara. And they've got it in the red zone now, down at about the 19. So that one will get them halfway to the first down marker. Seven yards makes it third and seven now. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. On third down. And it's out. He put it on the carpet. And the Packers pick it up. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And so close to hitting pay dirt last time. Fumbling down near the goal line. Now, how does that affect their psyche this time? Around? It's a tester, that's for sure, because to be that close and come away with no points is really disappointing, not just for the guys on offense, but the defensive players, too, who thought, hey, we're going to put some points up and have a little momentum going. They've got to find a way to just get it out of their minds let it go -term memory. and move on to the next series. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. Throwing. Love. Setting up the screen here, Aaron Jones. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else. And now it's third and ten. So nothing to the screen that time. That means all that great acting they tried went for that, didn't it? Because you have to try and influence them. Make them think that you're doing something else. Make them think that they can get to the passer by letting them buy him and setting up the screen and getting downfield. Didn't happen at all. Give a lot of credit to the defense for not tumbling to that one. Well, they've moved the ball okay here in these first two drives, but this one's going to, again, amount to nothing. They've got to start dialing up some plays that allow them to finish drives with points. Pass taken in by his big tight end. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Now a first down carry by Jones. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. The clock rolls as the Packers look to hurry things up. Second down, Love. Now this aired out deep for Reed. Try to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. And they've been kept off the scoreboard in this first half, but here toward the end, they're trying to change that in one fell swoop. But that one. 
winds up incomplete. Third and long for Love. Able to find the open man. That's complete. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. So the offense a little antsy. The flag comes out and a five-yard penalty. A full start backs him up five, first and 15. To throw now, here's Love. He's going to throw one up for the end zone. That is incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. Final play of the half, Love. He's going to launch this deep for Watson. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. Welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. So no scoring in our first half. What will the second half bring as we are now back underway? And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. And Charles, a scoreless first half. How does that change how you assess things here moving forward? Oh, and he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. A big time play there for New Orleans. 53 yards. He just had the feeling that sooner or later, someone was going to come up with that one play. Neither team has really done a whole lot offensively. But here's one that pays off to the tune of big yardage. And it's one that could maybe get this group in gear. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop him behind the line. What a difference a play makes. A huge step forward and now a small step back as he loses a yard or two. Kamara gets it again on second down. And again, the run defense stout this time. He maybe gets back to the line of scrimmage, but no more. Third down now. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. And this is caught. It's Jimmy Graham. And down inside the 15 he goes. First time they've looked his way in this game. He comes through picking up the first. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They look like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there are very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. From the red zone now, Winston. And it's caught. And the Saints are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the run. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just did the tip of the ball across the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. Miller looking for a signal, but none forthcoming. They stopped him shy of the goal line. No gain on the play, and it's going to be second and goal. They're right there at the one. No gain, but don't let that stop you. Line back up and keep going at them. If I'm them, I'm thinking about going at it four straight times. It's caught outright by Graham. And this will result in him losing yardage. Back to the three. Call it a loss of two there on the play. And now what we have here, a third and goal. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. 
And the trick play doesn't work. Good reaction there defensively. And it'll be fourth down. So they opted to pass for it on third and goal. Let's see what they do on fourth and goal. Well, I think they threw it with the idea that if they didn't get it, they would go for it on fourth and goal. So they've got another play in their pocket. They're going to have to call it right now. No field goal here. And no hesitation about this decision here. Confidently, they're going to go for this. Fourth and goal from the three. Jameis to throw it. And they hit him as he throws, as this one's going to go straight down to the turf. Incomplete. On first and ten, Love. A short throw to Musgrave. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Final minute now of the third quarter. On second down, it's Jones. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop him behind the line. That's going to go down as a loss of five. And it brings up third down. Working out of the gun, Love. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. A strong eight yards will keep this drive rolling. It certainly appears that he's been able to get a read on how they've wanted to contain him in this game. He's seen some places where he can beat them in big spots. And right there, he slides in with ease for the first down. And they will not have time to get another play in here as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. So still backed up, but the situation not as dire now. First and 10 at the 14. Love looking to throw it. This one swung in here to Jones. And brought down, but not before reaching the 25. It's a gain of 12, and the Packers have the first. An inside give to Jones. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync, and the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Give him seven on the tuck and run, and it'll get him a new set of downs. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Out of the shotgun, it's Jones. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Right now, the story of this game continuing to be the defenses because the offenses, they're finding it difficult to establish any rhythm whatsoever. I like how you come to us in praise of defense, Brandon, because that's exactly right. That was an incompletion for us there, but we've seen it throughout. And the Saints pressure gets it. Brought down for a sack. And the defense coming through on third down. A loss of seven to bring up for Now Love. Open man is Musgrave, and he's got it. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Boy, for most of us, that has taken a big risk in the fourth quarter of a tie game. But this is a head coach that has absolute confidence in his offense. And they repay that trust by not just getting a first down, but getting big yardage as well. So it's Packer football here as we welcome you back. They've got a first down in field goal range already. Up the middle, Jones. And he's able to motor his way down to the 16-yard line. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. 
And they'll keep on the ground with Jones. He will push his way down to about the 14. Now, what's the thinking here? Because a touchdown would be nice, but you've ensured yourself a chance at three in the lead, so how worried are you about the six? You're not very worried about if you're confident in your kicker. And if you got a kicker who can put it through the post, you feel really good about trying to bleed that clock down. In an ideal scenario, your kicker puts it through the post as the clock hits zeroes. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. A.J. Dillon. Taking it in from 14 yards out. And the Packers go 98 yards and finish it off in the end zone. Hey, that score deserves our respect, deserves our excitement. But I'm looking at the clock and I'm thinking, there's a long way to go in this one. Ideally, they would have liked to milk a little bit more time off. Now on the other sideline, you start to get the crew together and say, this is what we practice the two-minute drill for, right? Yeah, you hope you've been in that situation before, and if you haven't, you just have the confidence, hey, let's go down there and get this thing done. But, boy, that's a big score right there to give them the advantage. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. Here's first and ten. Winston. Throw left side complete. That's Perry. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Here's Winston. There's Chris Olave. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Final minute, one timeout remaining. First and 10. Now Winston. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes. And that's going to be a first down. Well done. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. Winston to throw. And it's caught. It's a touchdown. So they rally here in the final minute, and they're an extra point away from tying this game. And while it appears the heavy lifting was accomplished by scoring the touchdown. They're still down one. That extra point is not a gimme. And now the decision is to go for two. A gutsy call in this, in effect, is your ball game right here. And he's going to get in for the two points. It was an incredibly gutsy call that they've taken the lead. After the touchdown, here's Groupie to kick this one away. Nixon now from his end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. This is first and ten. Love. incomplete so 17 seconds now on the clock here as a corner you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield and man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone you have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there love looking to throw it and he can't get a throw off he's taken down what a huge play at this point in the game and long now it's still even longer they're going in the wrong direction here because they're moving exactly the way they want to but you're exactly right definitely going in the wrong direction for the offensive guys he's gonna let it fly oh and that's gonna sabotage their comeback plans it is intercepted 